first time I was in this joint, it was Jim Love's sculpture studio. <laughs> About 1964. <laughs> I've been six years old. I had seen some trains before. So it's hard to figure out what I'm at the depot for. Trains are big and black and smoke and steam, screaming at the wheels. Bigger than anything is, least that's the way she feels. Trains are big and black and smoking, louder than July 4. But everybody's acting like this might be something more than just picking up the mail for the soldiers from the war. Just something that even old man Wildman never seen before. And it's a late afternoon on a hot Texas day. And something strange is going on and we're all in the way. Now there's 50 or 60 people that are just sitting on the cars. The old men left their dominoes and they come down from the bars. Ooh, and everybody's checking. Old Jack Kittrell check his watch. And us kids put our ears to the rails to hear them pop. So we already noted. it. When I finally said train time and you'd have thought that Jesus Christ himself was rolling down the line. Those things got real quiet. Mama jerked me back Not before I'd got the chance To lay a nickel on the track Ooh, Look out, here she comes She's coming, look out, there she goes She's gone, screaming straight through Texas Like a mad dog cyclone Big and red and silver She don't make no smoke She's a fast rolling streamline Come to show the folks I said, look out, here she comes She's coming, look out, there she goes She's gone, screaming straight through Texas Like a mad dog cyclone Loud, she never even stopped She left 50 or 60 people Still sitting on the cars And they're wondering what it's coming to And how it got this far who but me, I got a nickel smashed Flatter than a dime By a mad dog runaway Red silver streamline train Look out, here she comes, she's coming Look out, there she goes, she's gone Screaming straight through Texas Like a mad dog cyclone She's big and red and silver She don't make no smoke She's a fast rolling streamline Come to show the folks I said, look out, here she comes, she's coming Look out, there she goes, she's gone Screaming straight through Texas like a mad dog cyclone <laughs> Look out, here she comes, she's coming Look out, there she goes, she's gone Screaming straight through Texas like a mad dog cyclone Tomatoes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't. You know, there ain't nothing in the world that I like better than bacon, and lettuce, and homegrown tomatoes. Up in the morning, out in the garden, get to a ripe one, don't get a hard one. Plant them in the spring, need them in the summer. All winter without them is a culinary bummer. I forget all about the sweating and digging. Every time I go out and pick me a big one. Homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes. What'd life be without homegrown tomatoes? Only two things and money came by. And that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. Mm. You can go out to eat, and that's for sure. But it's nothing a homegrown tomato won't cure. Put them in a salad, put them in a stew. You can make your very own tomato juice. You can eat them with eggs, you can eat them with gravy. Eat them with beans, pinto, or navy. Put them on the side, put them in the middle. Put a homegrown tomato on a hot cake griddle. Homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes. Wouldn't life be without homegrown tomatoes? Only two things and money came by. And that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. Show me one of those. 
was up here with you. <laughs> I'll never. I apologize for throwing them. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> now if I was to change this life I lead, I'd be Johnny Tomato Seed. Cause I know what this country needs. It's homegrown tomatoes in every yard you see. Now when I die, don't bury me. In a box in a cemetery. Out in a garden, it'd be much better. And I could be pushing up the homegrown tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes. What life be without homegrown tomatoes? Only two things that money can't buy. And that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes. What life be without homegrown tomatoes? Only two things that money can't buy. And that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. Pick it, guy. Pick it. <laughs> Thank you. I do apologize whoever brought these for throwing them like that. I, I, was meant, I thought I was throwing them at the audience so everybody could have one. <laughs> but they hit the ceiling and came right back down. Hell, it's raining tomatoes. There is a God. <laughs> <laughs> but they are good, and thank you. <coughs> Man should not make light of the gift of tomatoes. <laughs> Do not look a gift tomato. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Pack up all your dishes. Make note of all good wishes. And say goodbye to the landlord for me. That son of a bitch is always bored me. Throw out them LA papers. Molded box of vanilla wafers. Adios to all this concrete. Gonna get me some dirt road back street. If I can just get off of this LA freeway without getting killed or caught. Down that road in a cloud of smoke to some land. I ain't bob 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 in it. Here's to you, old skinny Dennis. The only one I I will miss I can hear that old bass singing Sweet and low like a gift you're bringing Play it for me one more time now Got to give it all we can now I believe everything you'll say Just to keep on, keep on playing If I can just get of this LA freeway without getting killed or caught down that road in a cloud of smoke to some land I ain't bought, bought, bought and put the card in the mailbox leave the key in that old front door lock they'll find it likely as not I'm sure there's something we have forgot Oh, Susanna, don't you cry, babe. Love's a gift that's surely handmade. We got something to be believing. And don't you think it's time we're leaving? I can just get off of this LA 
freeway Well, I'd get killed or caught Down that road in a cloud of smoke Through some land I ain't bop, bop, bop If I can just get off of this L.A. freeway Well, I'd get killed or caught Down that road in a cloud of smoke Through some land I ain't bop So pack up all your dishes Made note of all good wishes And say goodbye to the landlord for me Son of a bitch is always bored me This is a song for any of you who might have uh, pounded any nails for a living, <laughs> or at least just hit your thumb a couple of times. That, that counts too. <laughs> well, let us now praise a carpenter and the things that he made, and the way that he lived by the tools of the trade. I can still hear his hammer singing ten penny time Working by the hour till the day that he died And he was tough as a crowbar, he was quick as a chisel Fair as a plane, thought and true as a leather He was straight as a chalk line, right as a rule Square with the world, he took good care of his tools He worked his hands in wood from the crib to the coffin With a care and a love that you don't see too often And he built boats out of wood, big boats Working in a shipyard and mansions on the hill And a birdhouse in the backyard and He was tough as a crowbar, he was quick as a chisel Fair as a plane, thought and true as a lover. He was straight as a chalk line, right as a rule. Square with the world, he took good care of his tools. He said anything that's worth cutting down a tree for is worth doing right, don't the Lord love a two by four? And if you asked him how to do something, he'd say, just like Noah built the ark, you got to hold your mouth right, son, and never miss your mark. You'd be tough as a crowbar, you'd be quick as a chisel, fair as a plane, and true as a lover. You'd be straight as a chalk line, you'd be right as a rule square with the world you take good care of your tool be tough as a crowbar quick as a chisel fair as a flame thought and true as a lover be straight as a chalk line right as a rule square with the world you take good care of your tool See if we can get to it. 
I don't know. For some reason, I kind of quit doing that song. <laughs> well, <laughs> there you go. What are you going to do? <laughs> That's why I quit doing it. <laughs> That's another reason I quit doing it. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll try to do it in a little bit. <laughs> uh, this is a real charming little song. Uh, sounds like a Carter family song, uh, except Rodney Crowell and I wrote it. And uh, it's real pretty. It's called A Partner Nobody Chose. She's a melody in search of the words I love you. She's a rose with no room to grow. She's a light in the night with nowhere to shine. She's a partner that nobody chose. Oh, she's tried and she's tried and she's tried to keep on trying. But everything she tried fell apart. And she's loved, and she's loved, and she'd love to keep on loving. But every man she loved broke her heart. She's a melody in search of the words, I love you. She's a rose with no room to grow. She's a light in the night with nowhere to shine. She's a partner that nobody chose. She's fallen and stumbled and stumbled and fallen And no one picked her up when she fell But she stood up with hopes up that someone would show up Someday you never can tell She's a melody in search of the words I love you She's a rose with no room to grow She's a light in the night She's a partner that nobody chose She's a melody in search of the words I love you She's a rose with no room to grow She's a light in the night with nowhere to shine She's a partner that nobody chose Well, she's lonesome and nobody knows This is a little American history lesson here. It's about moving west in the late 1800s and a song about my family, as best I remember it. And uh, I kind of restruct, reconstruct my family history as I recall it being told to me when I was six. So <laughs> it's not always true. <laughs> But this is pretty close. Uh, after I wrote it, I got that I was listening back to it and thinking about it, and it's sort of the analogy that occurred to me is kind of a song about like uh, old field hippies having a kid grow up straight on them. If you all <laughs> know what that's about.
Coleman Bonner was a fiddle playing fool. He's a backwoods rounder and a breaker of mule. Coleman Bonner's got a wore out bow. Even playing two days down a new cut road. Now Coleman's little sister said, You better act right, Coleman. Daddy's gone to Louisville and he'll be back tonight. And he's gonna get another wagon and a good pair of mules. Oh, and we're gonna move to Texas. We just waiting on you. <laughs> now Coleman's daddy, he pulled up in the yard. He said, pack up your lives, kids, it's getting too hard. Kentucky's all right, but there's too many people. Would oh, just the other day, I thought I saw a church steeple. And Coleman said, Daddy, don't you worry about me. I'm going to stay here in Kentucky till the day I die. And I'm going to drink that sour mash. I'm going to race that mare. I got a woman with a red fox hair. Now y'all been moving west since the day you got married. Well, I'm getting off the wagon, Daddy. I'm too old to be carried. I'm gonna stay here in Kentucky where that bluegrass grows. And I'm gonna play it all night down the new cut road. Yep. Coleman's daddy said, now, what's it all coming to? <laughs> Young people these days are just as stubborn as mules. Oh, you can't make him go. He's too old for that. It's that damned old fiddle and that bowler hat. Coleman's mama said, now, let the boy stay. Because he was raised up solid and he can find his own way. But as for me, honey, I'm with you. I always thought Kentucky was just passing through. And Coleman's little sister, well, she started in a crime. And his daddy shook his head for the very last time. Coleman's mama said, somebody got to do it. Ooh, there wouldn't be no Kentucky unless you didn't stick to it, Coleman. <laughs> Coleman Bonner stood on the porch of that cabin And he watched them all go to Texas in a covered wagon And then he pulled out his fiddle And he rosined up his bow And he played a little tune called the New Cut Road yeah.
So get this taxi moving Cause I got no time to lose This is no time to be choosy You know that any old bar will do Cause I'm looking to get silly And I'm looking to get loose And if that don't get it done, darling I come looking for you, so take me to a barroom driver, set me on a stool. If I can't be your man, I'm damned if I'll be your fool. Wouldn't you take me to a barroom driver, set me on a stool. I can't be a man, I'm damned if I'll be a fool. You throw it up there, it's coming out of the dark, right? of good tomatoes. I'll do that in just a second. I'll do that in a second. Just a minute. Who's doing this? <laughs> this is one I wanted to see if I could try and remember. This is um, about uh, trying to go out and play music on the road and break even. Kind of mutually exclusive endeavors here. <laughs> For the last time it snowed in Del Rio, hell froze. I could not believe that I missed it. So far from the border. So close to the line, son, I almost got down and kissed it. Oh, but it's too far from home, and it's too late to look back. And two times a night make it tough. And B. Spear showed me the day that I met him. Too much ain't never enough. Ooh, Lord, ain't this road just enough to make you holler, holler, cat. Now let me just say that the road to good intentions is paved with the fools that I've been. And you can get up or stay up, it's all the same, come sun up. And all you got to do is go again. Woo, long. it up to road crime and it's a fool of the road kind trying to make the road rhyme well make you holla calf road calf road make you holla calf road Well, the last time it snowed in Del Rio, hell froze, and I could not believe that I missed it. Sorry. 
I couldn't make that one come back. <laughs> it's gone. Um, this is a new song nobody's ever, or a few people have heard, but y'all hadn't. Uh, that I wrote uh, with my wife, Susanna, and a friend of ours named Richard Dobson. Had a hand in it. It's like when you're making conversation and you're trying not to scream and you're trying not to tell them that you don't care what they mean and you're really feeling fragile and you really can't get home and you really feel abandoned but you want to be alone old friends they shine like diamonds old friends When the house is empty and the light begins to fade and there's nothing to protect you except the window shade and it's hard to put your finger on the thing that scares you most and you can't tell the difference between an angel and a ghost old friends they shine like diamonds old friends Old friends, Lord, you can't bound. Old friends, after all, yes, it's old friends, they shine like diamonds. Wish I had a dime for every bad time, but the bad times always seem to keep the change. And you've been all alone, so you know what I'm saying. And when all you can recall is the pain, just you wait until tomorrow when you wake up with me at your side and find I hadn't lied about nothing. And I wouldn't trade a tree for the way I feel about you in the morning. Anyhow, I love you. And every day it gets just a little bit better. Wouldn't have 
the getting there is knowing where I've been before. Well, I'm sure you understand. Cause I ain't your first man. So when you feel like running for the back door, don't. <laughs> Just you wait until tomorrow when you wake up with me at your side and find I hadn't lied about nothing. And I wouldn't trade a tree for the way I feel about you in the morning anyhow I love you. Just you wait until tomorrow when you wake up with me at your side and find I hadn't lied about nothing. And I wouldn't trade a tree for the way I feel about you in the morning. Anyhow, I love you. Now, this is a real treat right here. Uh, this is a song that um, my wife, Susanna, and a friend of ours named Richard Lee wrote. Um, Richard Lee, you know, for having written Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue and uh, oh, a bunch of big hits. But anyway, real sweet guy. And they were writing one day, and they just came down to the studio where we were and said, well, we wrote a new song. It's about an hour and a half. And, I mean, they played it, and it was just like, wow, <laughs> that's a hit, you know, just given. And so I uh, thought maybe I immediately learned it so I could be associated with uh, success. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so if uh, when you hear this song on the radio, probably by Don Williams, you will know that, I mean, you will be able to say, well, I heard it. When I was a young man, my daddy told me a lesson he learned it was a long time ago. If you want to have someone to hold on to, you got to learn to learn to let go. You got to say, like you don't need the money, love. Like you'll never get hurt, you got to dance. Like nobody's watching, it's got to come from the heart if you want it to work. Yeah. Now here is the one thing I keep forgetting when everything is falling apart oh in life as in love oh i need to remember there's such a thing as trying too hard you got to say like you don't need the money love like you'll never get hurt you got to dance 
Like nobody's watching It's gotta come from the heart If you want it to work You gotta sing sometimes Like you don't need the money Love sometimes Like you'll never get hurt You gotta dance, dance, dance Like nobody's watching Gotta come from the heart if you want it to work. Yeah. I wonder if I might have a glass of water, please. Uh, this is a song that uh, I thought for a long time that I wrote, but <laughs> it turns out I didn't, or I wrote the verses. One time, y'all know Rocky, Rocky Hill? Yeah, yeah sure, y'all know Rocky. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Rocky was up at my house in Nashville one time, and he came, he was spending the night, or stayed all night for some reason, and <laughs> uh he come grumbling through the kitchen in the morning. He was feeling good, feeling good. All the money in the world's been on feeling good. <laughs> I said, Rocky, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's some old blues tune. Oh, from the blues. I said, great, man. I'm gonna, you know, they stole it somewhere. I'm gonna steal it from them, make a song out of it. But turned out a. Great blues singer named J.B. Lenore wrote the song. So J.B. and I wrote this song. He doesn't know it. Mr. Woodpecker sitting in my favorite tree, Lord, he's pecking in a hole so naturally. Sound like SOS to me, got to sink or swim in the key of D. I like my eggs kind of chicken fried, Lord, I like my coffee just as black as night. Like my mornings on the sunny side, now would you like it biting? Feeling good, feeling good, all the money in the world spent on feeling good. Feeling good, Lord, feeling good, all the money in the world spent on feeling good. Got no money for the honky tonks, Lord. I'm sitting on the curb getting rolling drunk. Feeling good, Lord, feeling good. All the money in the world spent on feeling good. Feeling good, feeling good. All the money in the world spent on feeling good. Feeling good, Lord, feeling good. All the money.
JB plays a little better than this. Uh, Woodpecker sitting in my favorite tree, the Lord is pecking in a hole so naturally. Sound like SOS to me, got the sink or swim in the key of D. Was she standing on the gone side of leaving? She found a thumb and stuck it in the breeze. She'll take anything that's going close to somewhere. She can lay it down and live it like she please. And she ain't going nowhere, she's just leaving. She ain't going nowhere, she can't breathe in. And she ain't going home, and that's for sure. She's not sitting down, crying on her suitcase. Oh, she had no second thoughts by the road. She's got feelings that need some repairing And she did not give a damn, let it show She ain't going nowhere, she's just leaving She ain't going nowhere, she can't breathe in And she ain't his way with her hair and the blues have a way with her smile she had a way of her own just like prisoners have a way with a file she ain't going nowhere she's just leaving she ain't going nowhere, she can't breathe in. And she ain't going home, but that's for sure. Now she ain't going nowhere, she's just leaving. She ain't going nowhere, she can't breathe in. And she ain't going home, and that's for sure. Ah, she ain't going home, and that's for sure. Thank you. Y'all know who Joe Ely is, I'm sure. Uh, Joe's the only guy I know who really, when he was a kid, ran away from home and joined the circus. And he was a stock handler for Ringling Brothers. And he got to handle the llamas, I believe. <laughs> and uh, he, as the circus train goes around, they, they hire local wranglers in each town as a train stops to help them with the stock. And this is a song Joe wrote about that, and it's called Indian Cowboy. Well, 
Well, if you ever go out to the circus Where the Wallanders walk on the wire Well, I'll tell you a tale to remember When the white horses leap rings of fire It was a cold night in Oklahoma And the show was about to begin And the animals, they were all restless When the star horse, she broke from her pen Now she was a mare of high spirit Just like a whore on a Saturday night And she's kicking and bucking past the men who was brushing The elephants lying on their sides Now next to the tent sat some lanterns And they was dangerously close to the hay And that mare headed straight for those lanterns That some fool had put there by mistake And then up stepped some Indian cowboy And his lasso went whirling through the air And in the full dead middle of danger Oh, he roped that runaway mare And then the elephants raised up their trumpets Two of them broke from their chains And stampeded that Indian cowboy Who had saved the big top from flames So if you ever go out to the circus Where the Wallanders walk on the wire You just remember that Indian cowboy When the white horses leap rings of fire. Now who walked out when the times got hard And the truck broke down in the whole front yard <laughs> It wasn't me and it wasn't you <laughs> And who shot pool all night long And wound up betting on the crack of dawn Oh, now that was you, darling, and that was me And we are just fools for each other, me and you We are lovers, in fact, we've gone crazy out back Like only fools for each other would do And who took off when their heart got broke Let the whole thing go up in smoke It wasn't me, and it wasn't you. But you showed up when the time was right, and laid a little mercy on a bad old night. Ooh, that was you, darling, and that was me. And we are just fools for each other, me and you. We are lovers, in fact, we've gone crazy out back like Only fools for each other would do We are lovers, in fact We've gone crazy out back Like only fools for each other would do Tomato break. Ah, I'd like to buy some more of those. First one's free. <laughs> mm. 
They do make you feel better. <laughs> Uh, this is a song that uh, I wrote about a guy, old guy who was uh, kind of like my grandfather. Actually, he was my grandmother's boyfriend. That's what he was. And he's the guy who taught me how to whittle and spit and cuss and drive a car and sit up the straight. And I play the Red River Valley And he'd sit in the kitchen He'd cry and run his fingers through seventy years of living and wonder, Lord, is every well I drill grown dry? With his friends, me and his old man was like desperados waiting for a train, like desperados. Waiting for a train Well he's a drifter And a driller of oil wells And an old school man of the world He taught me how to drive his car When he's too drunk to Oh and he'd wink and give me money all the girls and our lives was like some old western movie like desperados waiting for a train like desperados waiting for a train and from the time that I could walk he'd take me with him to a bar called the Green Frog Cafe There was old men with beer guts and dominoes Oh, and they're lying about their lives while they play And I was just a kid that they all called his sidekick Like desperados waiting for a train like desperados waiting for a train. And one day I looked up and he's pushing 80. There's brown tobacco stains all down his chin. Well, to me, he's one of the heroes of this country. So why is he all dressed up like them old men? He's drinking beer and playing moon in 42 Like a desperado waiting for a train Like a desperado waiting for a train And the day before he died, I went to see him. And I was grown and he was almost gone. So we just closed our eyes and dreamed us up a kitchen. And sang another verse to that old song. Come on, Jack, the son of a bitch is gone. Like desperados waiting for a train 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 Somebody's having a good time somewhere. <laughs> I don't know it. I was just 
Just kidding. Now who wouldn't notice the fire in your eyes Or the bitter direction of impending bias I'm fallen and folded, Lord, I'm wilted in place At the sight of you standing the streets down your face I'm broke, running from the reason You got your heart broke Don't give up on believing in me, heart With my heart broke. Now pride is a bitch and a bore when you're lonely. Sheer madness prevails upon reason under years. Oh, but all is not lost. It's only mistaken and that small consolation. But I know just how you feel. You got your heart broke. Go running from the reason. You got your heart Broke. Don't give up on believing in me, heart broke. Whoa. You kept me from leaving with my heart broke. Now nobody said. But nobody said that it would not be worth it. The human condition continues as such. You get your heart broke, go running from the reason. Got your heart broke, don't give up on believing in the heart broke. You kept me from leaving with my heart. song I wrote for my father. Well, my father had a Randall knife, and my mother gave it to him when he went off to World War II to save us all from ruin. Now, if you've ever held a Randall knife, you know my father well. And if a better blade was ever made, it was probably forged in hell. Well, my father was a good man. He was a lawyer by his trade. And only once did I ever see him misuse the blade. <laughs> well, it almost cut his thumb off. When he took it for a tool, uh, the knife was made for darker things, and you could not bend the rules. Now he let me take it camping once on a Boy Scout jamboree. <laughs> and I broke a half an inch off trying to stick it in a tree. Well, I hid it from him for a while. But the knife and he were one, and he put it in his bottom drawer without a hard word one. And there it slept, and there it stayed for 20 some odd years, sort of like Excalibur, except waiting for a tear. My 
My father died when I was 40, and I couldn't find a way to cry. Not because I didn't love him, not because he didn't try. Oh, I'd cried for every lesser thing, for whiskey, pain, and beauty. But he deserved a better tear, and I was not quite ready. So he took his ashes out to sea and poured them off the stern and then threw the roses in the wake of everything we'd learned. And when we got back to the house, they asked me what I wanted. Not the law books, not the watch. I need the thing he's haunted. Ooh, my hand burned for the Randall knife and there in the bottom drawer and I found a tear for my father's life and all that it stood for. I'm going down to Austin, Texas. I'm going down to save my soul. Get that barbecue and chili, eat my fill and come back home. I'm going to take my baby with me. We're going to have a high old time. We're going to eat till we get silly. Show to make a beer taste fine. Oh, my mama, ain't that Texas cooking something? Oh, my mama, don't stop your belly and backbone from pie. Oh, my mama, ain't that Texas cooking good? Oh, my mama, eat it every day if I could, all right. I know a place that got fried okra, beat anything that I ever saw. I know a man that cook carrito, it must be against his law. Big old sausage, a big old plate of ranch style bean. I could eat the heart of Texas. We're gonna need some brand new jeans. Oh, my mama, ain't that Texas cooking, son? Oh, my mama, don't stop your belly and backbone from bumming. Oh, my mama, ain't that Texas cooking good? Oh, my mama, eat it every day if I could, all right. Cook armadillo, tastes so sweet it called it pie. I know a woman make pandas, it tastes so good it get you high. Get them enchiladas greedy, get them steaks chicken fry. Show to make a man feel happy to see white gravy on the side. Oh my mama, ain't that Texas cooking something? Oh my mama, to stop your belly and backbone from bumping. My mama, ain't that Texas cooking good? Oh, my mama, eat it every day if I could. Oh, my mama, ain't that Texas cooking something? Oh, my mama, to stop your belly and backbone from burning. Oh, my mama, ain't that Texas cooking good? Oh, my mama, eat it every day if I could. All right.
Thank you all very much. Thanks. A silly little game we play, huh? <laughs> I play a couple of new songs you never heard. Island was swarming like a scene from a costume ball, decked out in the colors of Europe and on fire with the hope of it all. There, my father's own father stood huddled with the tired and hungry and scared. Turn of the century pilgrims Bound by the dream that they shared They were standing in lines just like cattle and Poked and sorted and shoved Some are one desk away from sweet freedom And some are torn from someone they love Through the sprawling towers of Babel He came confused and alone Determined and bound for America And carrying everything that he owned Sometimes when I look in my grandfather's immigrant eyes I see that day reflected And I can't hold my feelings inside I see starting with nothing And working hard all of his life And don't take it for granted Say grandfather's immigrant house Now he rocks and he stares out the window But his eyes are still just as clear As the day he sailed through the harbor And came ashore on the island of tears Now grandfather's days are numbered But I won't let his memory die Cause he gave me the gift of this country And the look in his immigrant eyes Sometimes when I look in my grandfather's immigrant eyes I see that day reflected And I can't hold my feelings inside I see starting with nothing Working hard all of his life And don't take it for granted Say grandfather's immigrant eyes No, don't take it for granted Say grandfather's immigrant eyes
You ever go into a U-Totem and buy you one of them black cat diesel power hats? Did you ever know anybody that did? Some days I think this old machine is out to get me. Some days she does what I tell her. It's like dancing with a widow maker for 40 hours a week. You know, I'm talking about a big old D10 caterpillar. Woo. I don't know why I like to drive them like I do. You know, it ain't nothing but 175,000 pounds of steel. Woo. Could be the money, baby. Could be the power, could be I love the way it feels, could be I love the way it feels, but you know she's mighty unforgiving, so you got to pay attention, you know, D10 can be the death of you, but I get uh, all fired up and I can feel it in my soul, you know, it's hard to tell who's driving who. I can move Alaska all the way to Beirut. I can bulldoze a beeline from here to Peru. I can push the Rocky Mountains into the sea, you know. Heavy metal don't mean rock and roll to me. I'm like a modern day mule skinner driving 10,000 mules so I got to say a little prayer every day Lord just let me get a turned around without falling down this mountain cause you know the boss don't like me treating this D10 that way I don't know why I like to drive them like I do it ain't nothing but 175,000 pounds of steel could be the money baby could be the power, could be I love the way it feels, could be I love the way it feels, could be I love the way it feels, could be I love the way it feels. Thank you. Thanks. We had a big time. Come back. We'll be here tomorrow.